Be First there. on CBS This Morning, it is time to reveal the 2014 National Teacher of the Year it is Sean McComb from Baltimore's Patapisco High School and the Center for the Arts. Chip Reed is in Washington where this year's winner will be honored at the White House. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. Sean McComb is only 30 years old, which makes him one of the youngest teachers of the year ever. And he has just eight years of experience in the classroom. But ask any of his students and they'll tell you that Mr. McComb is much more than their English teacher. Listen for your figures name so I can get these out to you. Princess Diana. Sean McComb will do just about anything. I found that it had mold growing on top of some bacteria. To get his students fired up about learning. Do you want to hear the story of how it happened? Yes. Yeah. It's a big part of why at just 30 he has been named National Teacher of the Year. Guys, nice job to all the presenters, really. Really, good job. But that passion for education wasn't always there. Okay. You were not necessarily the world's best student back when you were in school. I wasn't. I, I was always a student with potential, but sometimes I, I didn't meet that potential. I'm, I had a lot of struggles in my home life. Um, my parents both went through some periods of unemployment. My mother um, was an alcoholic, and um, our home life was challenging uh, a lot of times. There was a lot of chaos. The chaos started to calm when he found inspiration through two of his high school teachers. They were compassionate for what was going on in my life, but at the same time, they knew that I needed to hold myself to high standards in order to, to get out of there and to make something of myself. They saved you. They absolutely saved me. I mean, it was there was darkness, and and they shined a light into that darkness, and um, and and made me believe that I could that I could do more, that I could be someone. So you have a checklist. Um, we have a goal, right? We need. To now he's paying it forward in his own classroom. How would you describe your philosophy of teaching? Kids before content and love before all. Um, you know, I teach students. I don't teach English. I teach students English. And my, my first task is, is to make sure that they feel loved and cared for and, and safe to take risks. McCombs' teaching isn't confined to the classrooms and hallways. He pushes his students and uses his own troubled past to connect with those who might need a guiding light. When I was going through my storms and my roller coaster, he was there every down and up. At just 16, Brandy Batty had a child of her own. After being kicked out of her home, she had nowhere to turn. You were going to quit school. I was, I was thinking about quitting school. I was thinking about taking the easy route. He was like, he just pushed me. He was like, nope, I'm not going to let you do it. So he's more than a teacher. A lot more. How would you describe that? What is he beyond being a teacher? He's like a hero because... Without him, I don't think I would be sitting here today. I really wouldn't. We want teachers to care uh, about those kids, and, and that's what Sean does. Patapsco High Bible School principal Craig Reed, Reed says so Sean represents the best the of what teachers be can be. It is really uh, deeply felt compassion um, for students. It is every day trying to get better. Um, every day he teaches the students in his class as if they were his own. Um, and that's what we all want um, as parents, as citizens. Sean insists the award is not just for him, but for teachers across the nation who put heart and soul into their jobs. I hope that they embrace me as their ambassador um, because I, I love this profession. It changed my life and I hope that I can use it to change others' lives as well. Sean McComb will be at the White House tomorrow at a ceremony where the president will honor the finalists of the National Teacher of the Year competition. Gail? All right. Seems well deserved. They said Sean McComb is 30, but he looks like he's 15. You can feel his passion, though. You can yeah. feel it. Yeah. I'm so glad we did that story because we need to recognize more of our teachers. And I think, Charlie, what you were and I were, we were reacting to is we said, I teach students, not English. Exactly. Yeah. Focus on the students. And you want that and, kind of teacher. And to see that one example of a life that was changed because yeah, of the teacher. Yeah, teacher moves you to tears. Go Sean McComb, congrats.